God and the woman of God in our midst. We are in a, in a time where we are required to pray for the kings and the, those who are in authority. I would like us to turn our Bibles to the book of Micah, chapter 4. It reads as follows. Now it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and the peoples shall flow to it. Father, bless the reading of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This is the word that is laid in my heart. The Lord says that he has set us apart. As the lady in the morning, the woman of God in the morning said, that we are to have dominion um, and do his will over all these mountains. Now the word that we read, read says that in the latter days, we are in the latter days, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on top of all the mountains that were in operation. The Lord has called us to go and disciple the nations. We have not done so. When we disciple the nations, our duty is to establish the kingdom of God on top of every mountain where the Lord has placed us. If it is in the mountain of religion, establish the kingdom of God. If it is in business, establish the, 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 the kingdom of God. If it is in community, in your family, establish the kingdom of God. Now the Lord wants us to pray. Not just pray ordinary prayers. Pray prayers that shape the nation. We have failed to shape the nation. We have submitted to the powers and the systems that be. But the Lord has set us apart to shape the nations, to testify to the nations, to prophesy to the nations, and say the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established over you. Everyone will flock to you. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so are we to lift up the King of Glory over every mountain where we are standing, so that he be exalted and everyone who flock to him may live. The Lord is giving us an assignment this morning to go out and prophesy over these nations. It's not enough that for five minutes here in church, we set aside time to shape our nation. We need to commit to God to go back out there and establish the mountain of the Lord's house so that the nations may live. The Lord says we also have to pray right. There are two types of kings and kingdoms that be. The first one is that of Ahab who set it in his heart to disobey God with all his might and cause the nation to sin. And then there is Asa, who was a king who feared the Lord. Under his rulership, the nation prospered. Under his kingship, the nation had peace. We need to stand up on the right now. We are going to pray. The Lord says there are two things that we need to do. The first one is that for the kingship of Ahab, we need to pray that he changes. But if he doesn't change, you need to dethrone him. <laughs> Ooh, we have failed to shape the nations. We have failed to disciple the nations. We have failed to establish the mountain of the Lord's house. Wherever he has positioned us. But he says, pray for Ahab kings. If they don't change, dethrone them. That's our prayer. Pray for the Asa kings that the Lord may strengthen their arms. We're going to pray right now. And we're also committing to God. We are going to disciple nations. We are going to disciple them in business. Disciple them. In our families will be disciples. They'll be disciples for God. Let us pray. Be exalted this morning. This is your time. Hi. This is the time of your glorification. This is 
is the time of your honor. Be exalted, oh God. This is the time where your mountain shall be lifted up. Where you will be honored and magnified. That all who see your mountain, where your children have established it, shall flock to it and leave. This is the time when we commit to shaping our nation. What a God said, we are sorry, Lord, that we have failed in our way to shape the nation. We have failed to establish your mountain, your house, in the places where you placed us. But Father, we thank you that all is not lost. Lama said to the king, arise over these mountains. Arise over these mountains. Repeat the sheep to come. Be exalted. Be lifted up. Repeat the sheep to come. We have exalted systems above you. We have exalted kings above you. We have exalted troubles above you. But this morning, this morning, Lord, be exalted. Be magnified. That whomsoever looks upon you may live. We pray for peace. We pray for David's kingship. The governance of David as a man who feared you to be upon our land, South Africa. To be upon our land, Africa. Oh God Almighty, may you be exalted. 